Hello and welcome to this week's video. Uh, today I'm exploring why do people like art and I found that the answers are many, varied, and often intensely personal. So in this week's video, like I said, I'm exploring why people like art. So keep watching, keep listening to see what I have to say, hear my thoughts on the subject. Um, so a couple of months back, I posed a series of questions on my Instagram, which is at Hillary Clark 13, one Ellen Hillary, if you want to follow me over there. Um, anyway, I posed these questions on Instagram as a sort of research project. And one of the questions I asked was, do you like art? Why or why not? And the people who chose to respond all liked art, but the reasons really did vary and all were as individual as the person is. Um, so one person was an art student back when she was in school and she was initially inspired by architecture when creating her own work. So she was drawn in by the aesthetics, by the feeling, the look, design, and color. And she remains connected to work with natural elements and architectural inspiration. However, she has a stronger connection to another art form, one she was introduced to by her mother and that's graphic art. Their shared love of graphic art, particularly that of Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, and I'm sorry if I mangled that. My French is not what it used to be. I took it in college, but it's not great. Anyway, this love for, for Le, Toulouse-Lautrec created an additional bond between mother and daughter. And so the woman who responded, she loves art that makes her think and feel and offers her a sense of freedom, as well as something that kind of creates that connection to her mom. Another person shared that she likes art because it takes her mind in new directions. And so she sees an artwork and it triggers thoughts and emotion that allow her to expand her own vision of the world. A third person sees art as a basic need, one that fuels her body and mind with inspiration and emotion. And she's drawn to all venues that share art. So film, music, theater, museums, dance, and more. Anything you can think of that where you might find an art form. Um, a fourth likes art that speaks to her soul. So she's drawn to art that touches something inside her that, that evokes emotion and is the catalyst to connect her to memories and past experiences. And then a fifth shared that she has a master's of art in art history and her connection and love of art is created by how much she can learn about a culture based on the art people create. So like I said, all of those are really kind of very different responses, right? No one replied to my question with a no, I don't like art. And I think that's because all of us like or love art in some form. We're all drawn to the beauty, the message, the boldness, the subtlety, the colors, the shapes, the lines that make up artwork and all of its media. And so like, a, like the person who sees art as a basic need, I believe art is available for us to offer is available to offer us an opportunity to transform, to transform our vision, to transform our minds, and to transform our hearts. Art as a transformative vehicle opens us up to see the world in a whole new way. Each person sees something different in the art he or she views, and this individual perception allows each of us to imagine our own reality as part of the artwork itself. So I create feelings out of fiber, these bright, bold, abstract, textured fiber paintings. And the act of creation allows me the opportunity to change the way I perceive my own reality. So through my art making, I develop a connection to the feeling I'm creating. So as humans, we get stuck when we attach so strongly to a feeling that we think that's all there is. And my work lets me feel the feeling and then step back to observe the feeling. And so through observation, I can learn what the feeling is trying to teach me, and through the learning, I can transform my reality. I believe all art forms offer this opportunity, and the art that draws you to it is trying to teach you something. And I think maybe, just maybe, that's why we all love art. So to kind of sum up here, people love art for many varied and intensely personal reasons. It may be for a connection to a loved one. It may be for an opportunity, the opportunity to expand one's vision. It may be because art feeds the heart and mind like food feeds the body. And it may be for the emotion art evokes, or it may be for what one can learn from art. You may like art for any one of the reasons I've listed, or you may like art for a reason that you hold deep in your heart. Liking an art is personal, as individual as you are. And that is a fantastic thing. So if you're ready for a private virtual showing of my art, drop me a comment below or send me a DM and we'll schedule a private 
I will schedule an appointment for that private virtual showing. Um, if you would like to discuss commissioning me to make a textured fiber painting for you or someone you love, do the same thing. Drop me a comment below, send me a DM, tell me you want to um, talk about commissioning, and we will schedule a, an exploratory commissioning conversation to see what we could create together. And then finally, if you liked what you heard and saw today, Please share this video with the one person that you know you would like it to. So that's what I've got for you this week. Thank you so much for listening and hanging out with me. And take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.